Working clean means creating as little dust as possible and containing any dust and debris that you do create. For example, if you create dust or debris by wet sanding or scraping, clean up immediately. Use a damp rag or tack cloth to clean up and then put the debris in a waste bag. Don't leave dust or debris lying around. Once work has begun, avoid tracking lead dust out of the work area. You may need to leave the work area, for example, to eat, drink, or use the bathroom. Before you step off the plastic sheeting, remove and discard your disposable gear, such as shoe covers and coveralls. If you are not wearing protective gear, wipe your shoes carefully and use a vacuum with a HEPA filter to remove dust from your clothing. Then thoroughly wash your hands and face. To work clean, you must avoid unsafe practices. Any activity that could create a lot of dust and spread it around. Never remove paint by dry scraping or dry sanding, power sanding or grinding without a HEPA dust collection system to trap tiny dust particles, using a high temperature heat gun or an open flame torch, uncontained power washing, or uncontained abrasive blasting. Also, never use a broom to clean up. All of these methods can spread dangerous lead dust. Finally, do not use chemical paint strippers that contain methylene chloride because that chemical causes cancer. Once the work is complete, you'll need to clean up carefully. Cleanup is very important on jobs involving lead paint. Because lead dust sticks to surfaces, cleaning up lead dust takes a bit of extra effort. However, if you've prepared the work area as suggested, Lead safe cleanup may be fairly easy, not much more difficult than a careful cleanup after any other job. Remember, by cleaning up lead safe, you'll be protecting your family, your neighbors, your tenants, and yourself from lead poisoning. First, pick up any big pieces of debris. Put them in a heavy duty plastic bag and seal the bag with duct tape. Next, fold the plastic sheeting with the dirty side inward and place it in another heavy duty bag. As before, seal the bag with duct tape and store it in a safe, secure location away from your family, your neighbors, and your tenants. Then, depending on the job, you may use a special vacuum called a HEPA vacuum. Always use a HEPA vacuum after a project that creates a lot of dust. Vacuum slowly and carefully to be sure to clean up any remaining dust. Never use a broom, which can spread a lot of Next, you'll need to wash walls, floors, and other hard surfaces in the work area. Wash from the top down and scrub hard. For large projects, wash all surfaces whether you worked on them or not. You'll need two buckets, one with water and detergent and another with clean rinse water. Be sure to rinse well. Change your rinse water often. When you finish washing, put all of your dirty rags and mop heads in a heavy-duty plastic bag and seal the bag with duct tape. You may need to double bag the waste to keep the bags from breaking. This waste should also be stored in a safe location away from your family, tenants, and neighbors. Finally, clean thoroughly with a HEPA vacuum one more time. Now let's talk about safely disposing of the waste from your project. Before you start your repairs or renovations, Check with your state and local public health and environmental protection agencies to learn how you should dispose of the waste you create. Handle all the bagged waste carefully to avoid tearing the plastic bags and contaminating the property. Remove all waste from your home at the end of the project. If you use your personal vehicle to dispose of waste, put it in the cargo area, such as the car trunk, not the passenger area. After you've disposed of the waste, HEPA vacuum the trunk. After you've cleaned up the work area, you'll need to clean yourself up so that you don't spread any lead dust to the rest of your home, your vehicle, or your neighborhood. Remember, before you leave the work area, remove all of your protective clothing, such as disposable coveralls and shoe covers. Put these items in a heavy-duty plastic bag and seal the bag with duct tape. As soon as you leave the work area, wash your hands and face. When you have finished working for the day, remember that lead dust may be on your clothes and your body. Remove your work clothes and wash them separately from the rest of your laundry.
Then shower and wash your hair as soon as possible. Once your repair or renovation work is completed, it's a good idea to check your work. First, look for paint chips, dust, and debris remaining in the work area. If you find any of these materials, clean the area again. Next, you can take some dust wipe samples and send them to an approved lab where they will be tested for lead. Check with your health department for a list of approved labs in your area. If the lab finds too much lead, you'll have to clean the area all over again. That's another good reason to clean very carefully the first time. Remember, at the beginning of this program we explained that lead is particularly dangerous to babies, young children, and pregnant women. They should not be in or near the work area. And if you're working on a baby's or a young child's room, be especially careful to work safely and to clean up thoroughly. Your child's future could depend on it. Now, let's quickly review the five major steps to working lead safe. Protect your family, your neighbors, your tenants, and yourself. Prepare the work area. Protect yourself from dust and debris. Work wet, work clean. For more information about working lead safe, you can get a copy of Lead Paint Safety, a field guide for painting, home maintenance, and renovation work. Or you can take a lead safe work practices training course approved by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD. If you have any questions, check with your state's Department of Public Health. Well, there you have it. How to work lead safe in an older home. It's not all that difficult, and it's very important. By taking a few simple precautions, you can do a great, safe job of fixing up a home. By working lead safe, you'll be helping your family, yourself, and your community. Thanks for your time, and good luck on your project.